Um, this isn't a technical talk, but uh, as I think many of you have seen on the website and in the uh, attendee brochure, one of the things that we're really excited to have this year is uh, a series of wireless hacking challenges uh, that have been organized by Bastille. And Ballant is going to open the challenges, kick them off, and tell you guys what's going on. And they will run for the course of the week. So the challenges will start today, and they will end on Friday. Um, and while Ballant gets set up here, uh, I don't know, get more coffee. Test one, two. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first big day of uh, GNU Radio Conference after the uh, New Users Day. My name is Balant Sieber. I'm the uh, Director of Vulnerability Research at Bastille, where we're looking to secure the Internet of Things and the entire radio spectrum. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity now to briefly introduce the hacking challenge which is proudly brought to you <laughs> all proudly because it's the first time we're doing it. So we'll see how it goes. But fingers crossed, brought to you by the Bastille Research Team. Um, and really, I'm not going to say very much because it's supposed to be a challenge. Um, but I'll cover the, the high level of it. What is it? Well, we've got a series of RF puzzles for you that need solving. And the way we've done it is there are a number of puzzles. I suppose the, the main word to describe it in the, you know, in the text that you'll see here and there are the stages. So it begins with stage zero <coughs> that I'm about to initiate as soon as I finish this talk. Um, and we're going to release <coughs> excuse me, a few of the puzzles in a group each day. So today, there'll be a few released. Tomorrow some more, and then um, Thursday will be the remainder. And they will get progressively more challenging. So today, they're hopefully fairly easy. Um, and I would really encourage you all, I mean, can I have a show of hands? Who's got an SDR on them? Pretty much everyone, right? Who can, put your hand up if your SDR is only capable of reception and not transmission. All right. Well, I can lend you guys a radio, but everyone else, you can participate. Um, and so it's, it's quite important there, and this, it's quite key that you're able to both receive and transmit. I think it should become clear once you actually begin to play. So you need that. You need to have a you know, decent grasp of Python. There's some, some snippets that you can run. It's not, nothing too taxing. Um, so that should be pretty straightforward. And it's suggested that, that you have GNU Radio because it might come in handy. Um, so where to actually begin? Well, uh, as soon as I finish, I'm going to press the magic button and, and suddenly it'll, it'll get going. Um, and in the adjacent room, there's a projector um, that I'm about to set up to a laptop and it will actually show in that room all the time the live score of the entire challenge. So it'll be, you can follow everybody's progress there. And uh, also on your own laptops, um, that will be become apparent uh, shortly. Um, and so the thing is, once you actually decode one particular stage, there, part of that will be a free hint for the next stage. So. You'll find a special signal. You'll come to understand how to actually decode it, demodulate it, understand what it is. And once you've got it, you'll know that you've got it because you'll be reading some interesting things and, and a hint for the next stage. But if you're stuck and you need additional hints, then they will cost you, but they will also be available um, after you progress past stage zero. And that'll become apparent once you actually figure out what stage zero is, um, which is pretty straightforward, but uh, I won't, won't spoil it too much, so it's a nice surprise. And uh, we've actually got some prizes too. Uh, if you complete all of the challenges, the first two people to complete all of the challenges 
will be awarded a USERP B200 Mini uh, and it'll come in this nifty orange 3D printed case. It's quite nice, it's got the light pipes, it's got the, the ventilation there for when, the, when you're transmitting and receiving at high rates um, and it comes in Bastille Orange to boot. Uh, so as we get started then, if you need any extra help and the hints aren't working for you, please feel free and come and harass any one of us. I'm pleased to be joined by two of my other colleagues here from my team. They're up in the back corner, Matt and Mark. So if you see Matt there, tall guy with glasses, and Mark has just come back from Burning Man, so he's got the funky, funky hair. Um, they will certainly help you out. Um, so that's essentially it. Good luck. Um, and I'm going to start the first stage. And I suppose if you've got a software-defined radio, it might be, might be a little bit of a hint to plug it in and you know, search around and see what you can find and what it might reveal and where it might lead you in the challenges. So <laughs> any, any questions? I know I've been <laughs> vague. It's, it's kind of on purpose. Um, oh, it ends uh, Friday. We're going to, I mean, we've got that slot on the, on the schedule. The presentation on Friday, what we'll do then is, uh, you know, we'll review the scoring, we'll re review progress, how each of the, um, the, the stages went. For the stages that were solved, we'll go through and talk about how we designed them, pitfalls and so on, and, um, and turn that into a bit of a learning experience as well. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to press a magic button and hook up the projector and, and we can officially call it started. So, any other questions before? Yeah. Oh, microphone. Or will you be showing us how you would have solved it on Friday, maybe too? Uh, yes, I can. We, we can. I'd be curious that. to just see how you would have thought through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yourself. Sure. Yeah. Another question over there. Uh, when when is the actual transmit um, challenge? In 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 the challenge. Is that the first stage, or is it later on? Can I start with the it's receive it's only? <laughs> it's important to the whole thing. Let's just okay. let's just say, that, say okay. that. The whole thing is a, is supposed to be a very interactive thing. Okay. I think there's another question over there in the corner. Uh, uh, yes. Um, what's the pr approximate frequency of the challenge? This is very strange because I don't know where that. <laughs> Hi there. The approximate. I can't. I can't tell you. Then it would spoil right. the challenge. That's I mean, you you have the the hardware. This is the amazing thing about the hardware that we're playing with. We can look at huge swaths of the radio spectrum. It's up to you to actually go in there and hunt around. I mean, the, the first stage is designed to be the easiest. So if you use one of the really simple tools to sort of poke around and see what's out there, you might come across something interesting. Any other questions? Sorry, I missed it. Is it running now? What's that? Is it running right now? It's going to run as soon as I go down there and, and press a button. And then I'm going to bring up, um, I might bring up a couple more. Anyone else? No? No. All right. All right. Thanks for your attention. And, and again, I know I've been very vague here, but have a go at it. And if you're struggling, then please feel free to ask. I don't want you to sort of feel like you've got no one to ask or, or um, get any help from. I'd like to. All right. Help thank you, you very much. Possible. Let's thank Ballant. All right. If you could uh, hand the lavalier off to Matt. Yeah. The location of the transmitter tonight. They're all going to be on the table. You can walk up. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So in the meantime, if anybody wants to set up a website uh, to run a bookie <laughs> to bet on the hackers on the scoreboard, be good. I'm. Okay.